Hello, my name is Agatha and this is the tarot reading for the year 2016 for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have the sun, the moon, uh, the rising sign in Sagittarius or even if you have a stellium, which is at least three planets uh, in the same sign, in the sign of Sagittarius, this is the reading for you. If you like uh, a personalized uh, reading, please give, um, send an email to duniazad at gmail.com uh, uh, and I, I would be uh, delighted to work with you. So Sagittarius for the year 2016, I'm using two tarot decks. This is a 24 card reading. Each month has uh, two cards. Uh, for the, the first deck that I'm using is Barbieri Tarot. Can you see it? This is like this is like more like a dark type of vibe. Uh, it cost me 23 euros and 20 cents in a Portuguese store in Portugal uh, called Spiral. And I bought the same deck there as well. And it cost me the same 23 euros and 20 cents. And it's Nicoletta. Secoli or Cecoli Tarot. I don't know how to read her name. I apologize. And they are beautiful, beautiful decks. And I bought another one that I'm not going to show here. And I might be using that one for Pisces. I'm not quite sure yet. So, starting Sagittarius for uh, January 2016, you got the seven of coins or the seven of the pentacles and the four of wands so uh, if you can see this this is not really uh, yeah uh, it's maybe like a month where you are contemplating something you're thinking about it and um by the way this is the back of the card of the barbieri and uh, the other one, this is the back. Uh, you're contemplating something. Uh, you, you know, you might be celebrating some some uh, sort of success, something which, uh, yeah, maybe you've reached, you've saved a lot of money, or you've reached uh, like a pineapple, pineapple, uh, like something. Um, good uh, in your life maybe you know professional life and at the same same time that you that you're celebrating it uh, you are also thinking about it should i continue on this route should i change uh, should i go to another route this could be a, um, a different type of contemplation this could be like you're thinking about changing your diet i should change my diet my diet my diet isn't very good um why? Because like in, tradi in traditional decks, some, not all, this one, the seven of coins or pentacles, the guy has a bit of a bulge uh, on his belly. <laughs> so in, in this one, the, the little girl is running around in a forest made of lollipops. She's really happy. She's really happy to be here. So you're thinking, maybe I should change the way I eat. Maybe I should change my dietary habits. Could be that. But you, you're celebrating something and at the same time reconsidering uh, the path in your life. Uh, maybe you have all this wealth. I don't know how you acquired it. And you're thinking, okay, now that I have all this money, what is the next path in my life? It could be that also. In February, February 2016, Sagittarius, you have the Temperance card. Temperance card. And you have the five uh, of coins or five of wands. To me, this speaks of some sort of imbalance. You have a desire to control yourself or to moderate yourself or to, to choose the middle ground. But some sort of um, self-esteem issues, some sort of self uh, lack of self uh, confident confidence doesn't allow you to have that moderation that that inner that to follow that inner path again I thought about um, I don't know dietary changes maybe you started the diet uh, or 
not not exactly a diet, but new way of uh, you know of eating. I don't know in February, but you are unable to keep up because you don't feel good about yourself. You don't feel confident. You feel like oh, I've started this so many times. I'm gonna fail. Something something that doesn't allow you to have this. Uh, inner harmony which you seek it, it's like a path towards self-healing that uh, doesn't get complete at least during this month of February because you have self-esteem issues um, in March 2016 the cards that came out for you were I think she's the queen I think this is the queen the queen of wands and the Four of Swords. The Queen of Wands speaks to me, it's you, because once it's a fire sign, it's Sagittarius or Leo or Aries, because this is a Sagittarius reading, um, it, it probably signifies you. And usually uh, the Queen of Wands is someone who's very fiery, very, very passionate about something. Um, she's a popular person, could be, this could be a man or a woman doesn't speak necessarily of a woman, though it's the queen, um, but usually it represents someone who's very popular, is very passionate about what he or she uh, believes in, uh, about their work, um, and they have this enthusiasm, enthusiasm uh, and this joy that gets transmitted to the, to the others. However, because the Four uh, of Swords came out, it's like you're hiding all of this, you're hiding all of this fire. You're maybe like in a phase, you're resting, you're healing yourself again. This is the four. Again, healing comes up. So it's so that after the healing, this this period, uh, this uh, yeah, this time where you don't actually do anything, it's like something uh, creatively, creative uh, in terms of creativity is being kind of built inside of you but not yet manifested into the real into the material life you're maybe you're thinking about your art or maybe you're keeping your fire inside uh, it's something which doesn't uh, enable you or, or, or makes it kind of difficult to show uh, your full your full self uh, in the light Sagittarius also is also having the transit of uh, Saturn in Sagittarius, so it's yeah, uh, it's like an old man raining on your parade and doesn't not not allowing you to have fun. Kind of feels like that, that way in in uh, in March. In April, the cards that came out for you were the Nine of Cups. And an angel, I think it's an angel. Uh, and the two of coins or the two pent pentacles is like in order to have your desires met, or in order in order to fulfill your desires or your desire or your wish, you have to be very flexible. You have to, you know. Uh, or you have to do, or you have to multitask, or you have to do lots and lots of things at the same time. Um, let's say you want to go and travel because Sagittarius really likes to travel, so that might require you for for you to have two jobs. Yeah, that would be like a, an explanation, for instance. In May 2016, you have the Ten of Wands. It's a guy and like three branches are being born out of uh, his back. I don't know if it's a guy or if it's like a tree turning into a guy or something like that. And the Ace of Wands. So to me, it's you fulfill all your obligations, all of your duties. Again, Saturn. That takes me back again to Saturn in your sign during this this year and, and the next. And you fulfill them, and after because you do that, you are able to start something new, something that you're really passionate about. 
this little girl is holding like a little lizard here and uh, the lizard has the color red and the, the, the color red uh, is the, uh, the signifies passion so whatever you finish whatever you accomplish will allow you you accomplish your duties you accomplish your obligations something that you must do because and if they're done they're finished whatever it is could be in professional life could be in family family life uh, this will allow you to move on and to start something uh, uh, that f fills you with passion i don't know what it is could be again uh, in the professional or professional life could be some sort of you know a hobby your own personal project in June, the cards that came out for you were the Knave of Pentacles or Coins, and the I think this is the King. The Kings here are different. It's always usually it's women, little girls, little dolls, and the Nicoletta Taro, and it's the King of Pentacles again. Fire again. You again. So either Sagittarius. Aries or Leo. So you see this little doll and she's lift, lifting up her skirt and a dragon come out, comes out with it, of it and there's, he's, he's spitting fire, scaring this guy. <laughs> so this is the king. It might not seem like it, but this is the king of wands. Uh, it's, to me, it's like you kind of been uh, restricted. Your actions have been even your speech, but you've been restricted, feeling restricted uh, most of the year, and um, you've been thinking a lot, uh, you've been trying to take action, but you don't feel confident to initiate whatever action you want to initiate. And finally, the last month, you've, you know, you've uh, fulfilled your obligation, and this month, in June, you kind of turn from a very meek type, type of person. The Usually the knave of, of pentacles is someone, it could be like someone who's starting, you might be starting a new monetary project. Like maybe at the end of the month in May, you set something up, up but uh, like uh, financially wise, you only start it, start it in June. But if this is a poor person and it signifies you, uh, and if it's the knave, usually pentacles could be could represent someone from an earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Meaning you could be a Sagittarius sun and have like a, a moon in Virgo, for instance. Um, it's like you're taking. I uh, can can read this in two different ways. <clears throat> Sorry. The first way is you were or you felt someone you felt almost like your personality is very meek is very timid uh, the type of personality that the type of person one doesn't look at not popular and kind of afraid of taking risks and just being too realistic all of these this does this does not seem to indicate the Sagittarius type of energy because Sagittarius is not meek, is not timid, is not afraid, you know. And suddenly during June, your personality, your real personality, comes bursting out. And you know, this woman, she, you know, the little dragon with fire, you know, comes bursting out, and you show yourself the way you really are because you're not restricted anymore, maybe because of the duties and obligations of the past months of all the of all some things like restricting you but it's n it no longer exists and your your true personality your true your true fire fiery personality is coming out or it could be read in a different way you start something new a new venture a new something which will bring you um, gains could be that and you started like monetary gains, some new, new project, some new work, uh, some new business um, project, and you started with lots and lots of passion, lots and lots of self confidence. Um, in July, the cards that came out for you were uh, the Knight of 
uh, cups, which is kind of different, you see. It's a different type. No. So this is a guy uh, on top of a dragon. <laughs> you know, it's completely different uh, from the traditional decks. And the Five of Swords in July. So this is a little girl, all psychotic, trying to kill. I think, how do you say this in English? Turnip? No. <laughs> Maybe she's a vegetarian. I don't know. Anyway, I would read this as your. In, in, there are several ways of reading this. It's like you're not stupid. Could be like that. Like whatever offering is being made to you. Usually the Knight of Cups could be that. Could be a, an offering. Though this this guy really doesn't like. Doesn't seem like someone who's giving you something. He seems like someone who's ready to take something from you. Right? Um, you're not you're not trusting this offer. You're not trusting it at all. And you're defending yourself or you're defending your right. You're attacking. You're more like attacking. In order to defend yourself, you're attacking. It it, it can be read, be read like like that. So in July, there could be some sort of conflict, there could be some sort of battle, uh, someone who loses, someone who wins. I would not say that you'd lose. I don't know why. I, this little girl with a knife, she's, she really feels very confident. Uh, there will be some sort of conflict in, in, uh, in July, in 2016, Sagittarius. In August... Uh, you have the seven of wands, and these are like I don't know, like demons or apes or weird creatures. Seven of wands and the ten of cups. So it's like to me, uh, you assert yourself, you assert your principles, or you defend yourself, or. Uh, this this battle that which was initiated last month in July will keep on going probably during I don't know maybe uh, till the middle of the month uh, in August. However, you will succeed, you will prevail because the next card that came out during after the Seven of Wands is the Ten. I wish I could show this without the glare. Uh, it's the Ten of Wands, and it's usually it means uh, emotional satisfaction, like the most emotional satisfaction, contentment, happiness. So you've, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, you've prevailed, and uh, you've succeeded, and this gives you gives you joy. So you're happy, uh, you've won. Uh, you have you are happy that your principles are, have prevailed. In September 2016. You have the emperor. Look at him. No, he really looks like an emperor, right? And the. I think this is the queen. The queen of. Because the kings are different. The queen of cups. I would say that in sep September you've um, gained some sort of emotional stability. I would say because the emperor speaks of stability, speaks of structure, and the queen of cups uh, is a very emotional, stable type of person. I would say that something to do with emotional stability is gained during the months uh, of se September 2016. The queen of cups is someone also who's really generous with her time she's a friendly she's, she's someone who's very friendly she can be someone could represent like a mother motherly figure mother grandmother not necessarily can be a guy you know someone from from an other like water sign pisces cancer or scorpio someone who's really emotionally mature an adult who knows how to help others and at the same time keep her boundaries uh, um, intact, someone who could be kind of psychic uh, also, so maybe there's some sort of confrontation between, I'm sorry, between this guy and this woman, uh, not necessarily confrontation, 
uh, it could be something really simple, someone in authority, a father figure, uh, a, f a masculine uh, authority figure, could be father, um, husband, uh, boss, grandfather, someone with authority, and this is the one. Maybe this doesn't relate more exactly to you, uh, but maybe this could be, you know, some sort of family gathering, and this is the, the your dad or your grandfather, and this is the mother or grandmother, something like that. Maybe you'll be meeting, be seeing them. Um, and I would not say this is open confrontation, maybe two ways, two different ways of perceiving reality. Think that in September there's a uh, an exact uh, Saturn uh, Neptune square, and Saturn kind of applies to this guy because this guy is very rigid with rules and regulations, you need to follow the rules, you know, in order to have success and to have stability in, in um, you know, have some sort of structure in your life, you just have to follow the rules and you don't have to be emotional, uh, don't cry, just, just do the work and you will achieve success. But then there's this woman and she says, you know, you can get, have what you want and at the same time, uh, be emotionally present and not hurt other people or not hurt yourself in emotional in, in emotional and psychological way. And this kind of speaks because, again, this is a water sign um, of uh, Neptune, you know. It's like these two energies are... I, this could be a confrontation, but let's see it more as a dialogue. Okay, not open confrontation, like you don't have to choose one over the other. You have to find a way, Sagittarius, first I see this one, then I see, of blending these two energies together. And you can do it because you're smart, Sagittarius, you're very smart. Um, and in October, the cards that came out for you were the Five of Wands and the Hermit card. So, the Five of Wands could speak again of conflict conflict with others or with yourself. And the Hermit card, it's, it's so cute. It's, it's so really cute. I love these cards. Uh, usually speaks of finding your own way, finding your own spir spiritual truth, um, follow, following your own light. Um, and... It speaks of being alone or pursuing your own truth in a very solitary type of way. It's like, I would read this more not more as inner conflict. Maybe because in September you were not able to fully integrate those two different types of energies. So there's still some inner conflict and you're trying to find your own way amongst, uh, within or in spite of this inner conflict conflict you're following your own path kind of feeling alone kind of feeling that you find have to find your own truth and following it uh, in in november 2016 sagittarius you have the five there's a lot of fives the five of swords and the eight oh, i'm sorry the justice card you see this this is so cute she's finding balance Okay, which speaks of justice. Justice, the the a major arcana, yeah, major. Um, uh, one of the qualities, uh, one of the keywords is to find balance. So, oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> so, and she's like on the top of the this. I don't know how to say, playing cards, and she's perfectly balanced. And it's, to me, in November, it speaks that for you to find some sort of balance you have to give up something you uh, have to understand that you cannot win all the battles um, so maybe you have to lose a battle of some kind in order for you to win something which is much more valuable which is inner harmony inner balance this is like a more like a psychological and emotional 
realization in November 2016. And in December 2016, you have the Eight of Swords and the, the Ten of Pentacles. So how would I read this? Usually the Eight of Swords, uh, it's a woman and she cannot free herself. But this guy, I think it's a guy, is ready to battle. Maybe this the other guy, you know, behind. He's the one who's keeping this guy captive. But this guy is ready to free himself because his eyes are open. He has like the sword in his hand. Even though he's wounded, I think it's a he, yeah. Uh, is ready to free himself. I I would say that if you ever felt like a victim during this uh, year 2016, you no longer want it, it, victim more like of your inner uh, inside, not outside victim. More of your own thoughts, more of the way. Uh, of your own actions, but I don't think so. But if, uh, to me, it's like you're liberating yourself. And in liberating yourself, even in, a, in a, an emotional way, even in the way that you think, uh, the, the gift which will be given to you in December 2016, if you liberate yourself, will be that of not just, uh, I know this card is different, not just of material, and financial security, but because um, I would say also something to do with inner security, kind of. Um, but if you liberate yourself, you'll succeed in, let's say, in, in, in the outside world, some sort of liberation. Could be, um, yeah, could be like a... a, a, a the way you think, changing your perspective. Uh, maybe because you change your perspective, you'll go on a different way. Uh, and that, and the result of that, will be um, material, uh, material success. And a feeling of stability. And not just, and not just material stability, monetary stability, but inner stability also. So it's a very interesting year for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'd li you like my reading. If you'd like a personal personalized reading with me, just send an email to duniazad at gmail.com. Uh, all my information is down below. Um, all my readings are written by me. There's no software readings. And if you'd like, again, if you'd like a personalized um, reading, Send an email and I would be delighted to work with you. Thank you.